Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and we are going to do another bloom pour. I just did my first one ever yesterday. I will show you that one dry. It turned out pretty stinking cool, not gonna lie. Look at that. Now this is on um, five inch cake board. It's like a piece of cardboard like to put under a cake to stabilize it. I thought these would be perfect to practice on. So we are gonna use that again today. But today's colors are going to be different. Today we are using St Sterling Wax White. Oh, let's put that in the camera. Um, tree Frog Green. And Lily Pilly Pink. And then for our base, we are using Color Place Exterior Satin Base with no color added. That is this bottle. And then for our cell activator, it is Australian Floetrol and um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And then I decided that I didn't have a problem last time. I don't know why I'm worried about it, but just to be safe, I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the bottom here and tape this down. Um, we'll be using a straw to blow it out because two reasons. I figured this would blow away from the um, hair dryer. And it's such a small surface, I don't think a hair dryer is necessary. I feel like this would be sufficient. Um, I did put my house paint in a squeeze bottle. I thought it would be easier than having to open a gallon of paint every time I wanted to do this technique. Genius, I know. And to be completely honest, I don't know exactly how much you're supposed to use necessarily. So I just kind of wing it. Pro tip just wing it. Now there are air bubbles in here. I don't know the best method to get them out. I do not have a torch currently. I did not bring it to California with me. I need to replace it. Um, in the one from yesterday, I have no idea if that helped. To be completely honest, it probably made things worse. The one from yesterday, let me get you a close up. You can kind of see where those air bubbles came through and left little dots so that's what that is if you see that happening also I forgot my fan was on I meant to turn it off but I didn't click it enough times so I did get a little bit of crazing um, as well but I don't mind again my very first one ever I'm pretty impressed so let me see what to do about this because I definitely made a huge bubble right here all right we'll just let the rest of the bubbles go and I start off with the pink and then do green and white and then do the pink and green again, but probably in those reverse colors or the reverse order. I want the pink to really dominate here. I think from the videos I've watched, this green tends to take over and I don't really want that to happen, but I do want these colors, so. I'll do green again and then do the pink last. Oh, then the cell activator, of course. Which again, the cell activator is Amsterdam Titanium White and Australian Floetrol. And now we blue on it. Oh, this is not making pretty colors. I feel like this is gonna be a massive fail, but we'll, we'll keep trying. We're gonna spin it now. Got all gross. Hashtag not a fan. I'm gonna try again. I didn't put on gloves. I know what's wrong with me. If you watch my channel, you know that I hate being messy. Alright, we're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna try to use some of this paint to keep it stuck on here. 
Let's try subbing out the green for this yellow color. It is golden wattle yellow. Those words. Let's see if this works. Wish me luck. Thank you. All right, that's the um, Color Place Satin Exterior House Paint. Um, we're also just gonna do one layer of each of these. So I'll do yellow first, because like I said, I do want the paint to come out predominantly pink. And then the cell activator. And now we blow. some time to do its thing. So far, much, much better colors here. I like the way these blended into different shades of orange instead of brown. Noted. I'm pretty excited. Let's try to spin it. So cool. Okay, super excited. Don't know if I just didn't use enough paint or what, but it is not spreading to the edges, so we will spin again. We're just gonna call that good. This is just for practice, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But let me bring you in for close up. All right, here we are for the close up. I'm gonna start in the middle because that's where all the action is. Look at that, so cool. Different shades of pink with the white mixing in and then different shades of yellows and oranges from the yellow and pink mixing together. And then gorgeous bloom and wispiness on the outside. Love it. This is definitely my favorite technique so far ever. So be prepared to see more of these. I think the next one I'm going to do is a rainbow. We'll see how that's going to work given... How that green and pink blended but I'm gonna stay hopeful and see what happens and then let me know what um, color combinations you would like to see give me just a second all right so these are the colors that are available well that I own there's many more colors available that I do not own so I've got flame tree red pea flower orange golden wattle yellow tree frog green Mulga Parrot Green. It's like a really pretty teal. Fairy Wren Blue. Mana Crab Blue. Mm. Goldian Finch Mauve. Uh, Native Violet Purple. Mm. Words. Pandaria. Pandora. Pandoria. Pink. Lily Pilly Pink, and then the black and the white, the Sterling Wax White, and the Willy Wagtail Black. So, that's what those look like. So let me know which colors you would like to see in future Bloom videos. And if you missed this one I did last, or the very first one, that was the most recent one that I did, um, I will link that at the end of the video, so go check it out. Let me know what you think of this technique and these colors and everything in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.